Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Therefore, if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Now let's get started. So first, this is our matrix A of the dimension 3 by 3. You can see we have three rows and three columns in this matrix. And we want to find the determinant of this matrix. It is as simple as using the first row elements throughout this simplification. And we are going to take the summation of the product of each of these elements by their cofactors. I'm going to show you how to find these cofactors. So let's find the determinant. Determinant of this matrix A will be equal to I told you we are going to use this first row element throughout one after the other. We are going to start with A11 which is first row first column element. We have A11. This element is going to be multiplied by the cofactor and the cofactor is going to be of 10 like this. You take negative 1, you raise it to the power of 1 plus 1. This subscript 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. You also multiply by the determinant after striking out the row and column that correspond to that element. This element corresponds to this row, first row. It also corresponds to the first column. Therefore, we are going to strike out this and this, leaving only these four elements. So the determinant we are going to find is for these four elements. And remember, as always, we take the top left corner element, which we have here as A22. We multiply it diagonally with this A33. Then we subtract. We take this one again, A32. Uh, we multiply it diagonally with A23. So the whole of this expression under bracket is what we call cofactor. This is cofactor. Again, we add, because I told you it's a summation, we take the uh, first row, second column element, which is A12. We do the same. We multiply by the cofactor, which we have as negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, so this is raised to the power of 3. Multiply by the determinant after striking out the row and column that correspond to that element. This element corresponds to the second column and the first row, so we are going to strike out the second column and the first row, leaving uh, these elements here. So to find the determinant of this element, you take this, you multiply by this. We have A, to 1 multiplied by a 33 then you take this one you subtract a 31 multiplied by a 23 then the last one because there are three you add again you take a 13 you multiply by the cofactor negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 is 4. Multiply by the determinant after striking out the row and column that correspond to that element. You see, if you strike this one, you strike this one, this is the four elements we have. You take this, multiply by this, we have A to 1, multiply by A3, 2, you subtract, you take A, 3, 1, you multiply by A, 2, 2. Then you simplify and obtain your determinant and you are good to go. This is exactly how to do that. So now let us solve two problems. The first one I am going to apply all these steps. And the second one I am going to skip because I know negative uh, 1 raised to the power of 2 will make it positive 1 and multiplying the whole of this expression by positive 1 will not change the value. You can see this one will become negative 1. 
positive. So in the end, you get to realize that this is positive, negative, positive. So in the second problem, I'm not going to be writing this uh, negative one to their respective powers. All right, suppose we have this matrix A, which is a three by three matrix, and we want to find its determinant. It's as simple as applying the formula we have derived. We have determinant of matrix A equal to, normally, you know, we you start with the first row, first column element, which we have here as one, the U multiplied by the cofactor, and that cofactor could be of 10 by um, taking negative one raised to the power of, you know, this is one, one, raised to the power of two, one plus one is two. Then you multiply as well with the determinant after crossing out the row and column that correspond to that element. You cross this, you cross this. What you have is three multiplied by two minus, um, you have negative one also multiplied by one. You see three times two, three times two, negative one times one, negative one times one. So this is the first step. Then you add, you take the second one, which we have here as negative two. We have negative two. Multiply by the cofactor. You start with negative one raised to the power of uh, one plus two, which is three. Negative one to the power of three. Multiply by the determinant after striking out the row and column of that element. You strike this, you strike that, we have this and this. We have negative one times two. We have negative one multiplied by two. You subtract. Uh, then you take um, two multiplied by one. Two multiplied by one, you close your brackets. Then you take the last one, you add again. This is three. You multiply by the cofactor. You strike this, you strike that. But remember, negative one to the power of, you know, this is going to be uh, one, three, and one plus three is four, so we have four here. Multiply by the determinant of task striking the column and the row. You strike this, you strike that. This is what we have, negative one times negative one negative one multiplied by negative one. You subtract two multiplied by three, two multiplied by three. You close your brackets. Now what is left for us is to simplify and obtain our determinant. Okay, this is equal to, um, one is outside. Negative one to the power of two is positive one, so we don't even have to write it. We come here, two times three is six, we have six minus negative one um, times positive one is negative one, so it will change this to positive sign. This is what we have. The U move, we have plus, we have negative two. Under the bracket, we have negative two. Then here, Negative one to the power of three is still negative one, so inside we have negative one. This is negative one times two is negative two, minus two times one is two. We close. Then we take the last one, plus. We have three. Then under the bracket, this is going to be positive one. Because once you have an even index, it will transform the negative sign into positive. So one times this will not change it. All we have is negative one times negative one is positive one minus two times three is six. Let us further simplify. This plus this is seven times one is still seven plus minus two, minus two is minus four, then minus four times Minus one is positive four. Positive four times negative two is negative eight, so this becomes negative eight. Then lastly, we have one minus six is minus five. Then minus five times three is 
minus so this one also become minus 15. Let's further simplify. Sub of minus 8 is minus 1. The minus 1 minus 15 is minus 16. And hence, minus 16 is the determinant of this matrix E. Let us take the last one. But in the last one, I'm going to skip some steps. Now here is our second problem, which is another matrix B of the dimension 3 by 3. We want to find the determinant of this matrix. Remember I told you I'm going to skip some steps. Normally because of that negative 1 to the power of the summation of the subscript, this is going to be positive, this is negative, this is positive, it is 4 by 4, the next one is going to be negative. So to find the determinant of this matrix B, we take positive 1, which is the same thing as 1. You multiply, you cross this, you cross that. This is the only what we have, these four elements. We want to find the determinant. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. You subtract. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, so we have negative 3. You move to the next one, we have negative 3, negative 3. You cross, you strike the rows and column that correspond to that element. You cross this, you cross that. We have this. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 times 3 is 6. Then last one, positive 1. We have positive 1. You multiply by the determinant after crossing out the rows and columns. 1, 2. We have 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And this is all. We simplify and obtain our final answer. 1 times this will not change it. Negative, negative is positive. So we have negative 4 plus positive 3 is going to make it negative 1. We move on. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. The minus 2 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 6. Minus minus is plus. So we have minus 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Positive 2 times 1 is still positive 2. We simplify and obtain our final answer. Minus 1 plus 6 is 5, and then 5 plus 2 is 7. And hence the determinant of this matrix B is equal to 7. So you can do this to many more 3x3 three three matrix. Despite it is 3x3 three three matrix, you can follow this method to find your determinant. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.